All right, so I just had a conversation with my barber. I'm um, getting my hair cut. And this is a guy who, you know, doesn't really understand Bitcoin. I've asked him how much time he's really spent on, you know, researching it. And, you know, he said maybe an hour or two here or there, right? Maybe just researched it, heard about it, looked it up a little. Um, so he's got no skin in the game currently. Um, however, I challenged him. I said, you know, from what I've understood over the years, Bitcoin is one of those things or investments where it's a direct reflection of how much you understand it, meaning how much time you've invested in it will correlate to how much you've actually physically, you know, monetarily put, in, put it into it, right? So how much money you've actually invested. And so I challenged him. I said, you know, do some more research. And if you have any questions, I'd love to hear them. You know, next time I come in, write them down, dude. Like, you know, let me know. I would love to, to kind of continue with this conversation. So, and he's like, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, a great example of that would be Michael Saylor, right? Most of us know who Michael Saylor is. He has no idea who Michael is, right? So I described who this guy was and how he described you know, explains Bitcoin, you know, he describes it in so many ways, right? Whether it's a, an, an economic freedom, whether it's um, a store of value, something that, uh, a means of energy, right? Storing up energy within the, the digital realm. Um, he, he describes Bitcoin in so many ways, that's just brilliant. And so um, I, I give him some homework, you know, do some additional homework, listen to some of his TED Talks or podcasts and you know, see if you can get a better understanding of what this Bitcoin thing is. And then again, if you have any questions, let me know. So and I, I want to challenge you guys the same thing. If you have friends or family, people that you truly care about, um, don't stop the conversation. Be humble and continue to educate. Because honestly, as you guys know, those of you who have done your homework, who have put the time in and invested in this asset, it's not going anywhere. As we know, Fidelity, BlackRock, all the nine ETFs and those that are continually being applied for and coming are not going anywhere. And so I just, I implore you, continue to move forward, keep educating the public and especially those that you love um, and care about, your friends and family. Uh, because, and I, I promise you, I have a group of dudes surrounding me that that they're grateful, right? That I have told them about Bitcoin. And it's fun Like when you have a group of people that are just as crazy as you are, that are sending memes and that are, you know, challenging, oh my God, did you see that 10% dip? Like, you don't even care anymore. Like, this is money. And this is another thing I wanna challenge you. Do not put any money in that you cannot afford to lose. And what I mean by that is please don't take out a, a loan. Please don't mortgage your house. Use your rent money. Don't use any money that you need for food or bills simply put money in that you're afford that you're okay to losing right um money that you've got stuffed under a mattress or your starbucks money you know, whatever sacrifices you want to make but um again this is not financial advice but i do advise you start those conversations and again i promise you a couple years from now the next having those people that you talk to will be super grateful that you've have actually invested in them all right guys i hope you have a great day and chat soon